everyone. Welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. This quick video will help you understand the CSS box sizing property. Even if you haven't heard about this property before, by the end of this video, you will want to start using it. Here is a blank HTML document. Now consider a div element here. Let us give it some width and height using CSS. So div width say 50 pixels and height 50 pixels. Let me add some background color so you can actually see it. Background color orange. There, you will see this little square with a width and height of 50 pixels. Let us give it some padding now of 20 pixels on all sides. Padding 20 pixels. Did you notice the change? The square is now bigger. Let me inspect the element and you will quickly see that the actual width is 50 pixels but with a padding on the left of 20 pixels and a padding on the right of 20 pixels, the total width is now 90 pixels. Let me also add a border of 5 pixels. Border, solid, 5 pixels, dark orange. You see, it gets even bigger. Now this is because according to the CSS box model, the element's final width is calculated as follows. Final width equals width plus padding on both sides plus border on both sides plus margin on both sides. In some cases, this behavior is not desirable. I'll give you an example. Let's say we need this div to be exactly 50% width of the screen and height about 200 pixels. I will remove the padding and the border for now. Now I want to add some text here. Some text here. If you see, we need to add some padding, right? Because the text is sticking to the edges. So now I'll add padding 20 pixels. What do you see? The box isn't 50% width anymore, right? The width is 50% plus 20 pixels plus 20 pixels. Now it's not possible to calculate the width that needs to be specified for it to be exactly 50%. This is where the box sizing property comes to the rescue. All you need to do now is set box sizing border box. That's it. You will now see the box is exactly 50% width and we also have the desired padding. How did this happen? The box sizing property takes in two values, content box and border box. By default, the value is content box, which makes the element follow the CSS box model to calculate the width and height. But by changing the value to border box, we are telling the browser to include the padding and the border widths within the width specified. So the actual width is the final width irrespective of the padding or border. So even if we add a border here like this, that's also included within the width specified. However, important thing to note here is that margins don't behave the same way. Here's a tip from my side, adding box sizing border box to all the elements in your layout like this at the beginning of CSS helps you solve a lot of problems beforehand. So right now, go try this out yourself and good luck. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.